Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorites, like everything that I loved from 2020. Now I know that the year wasn't the best year for everybody, but these products made the year a little bit better for me. So let's just start out. So this is a mix of like beauty, lifestyle, fashion, like everything that I used and that I really loved in 2020. So the first thing is the e.l.f. Hydro Camo Concealer. You guys know that I use this non-stop. This is the best concealer, probably my now favorite concealer from the drugstore aside from the Age Rewind. And this stuff is awesome. And the one that I've been using is Light Sand. And this one is pretty perfect for like under my eyes, but they're great. They're like super hydrating. So if you're getting some of those fine lines, it's not going to accentuate any of those. And it dries down like a satin, it's not creepy at all. And it's only like five bucks or definitely under 10 bucks. I'm not sure exactly how much. But this was definitely hands down my favorite concealer of 2020. So next up is some really good affordable skincare and this is by the brand The Ordinary. These two I have just recently repurchased because I've been using them nonstop. So the first one is The Ordinary. This is the AHA BHA. 10 minute exfoliating facial. Now, what I like to do is I put this on my face, on my neck, on my chest, and on the back of my hands, but it's a little bit tricky because you do have to wash it off after 10 minutes. So what I normally do is like once or twice a week I use this and you don't wanna use it any more than that. And when you use it for the first time, you may experience like some burning depending on, you know, how your skin is. You don't wanna use it over any cuts or anything like that because it is an acid. So what I like to do is I'll take a shower, like do the whole routine, come out of the shower, make sure your skin and wherever you're gonna put it is dry. You don't wanna put it on wet skin at all. I'll put it on my face, I'll put it on my neck, my chest, the back of my hands. I'll leave it on for 10 minutes and then I'll jump back in the shower and I'll just rinse it off. So I don't like re-soap or anything like that. So I'll just like rinse it off my face and then when I come out of the shower, I'll finish with my nighttime routine. When you're using this, you don't wanna use like any other acids at the same time or like retinol or anything like that that's gonna irritate your skin. My other favorite is The Ordinary. This is the lactic acid 10%. I started with the 5%. I just felt like it wasn't really doing anything and I felt like as soon as I started using the 10%, I noticed like a huge difference in like texture and tone of my skin. Like I was having a lot of texture in here and I felt like that's really helped it a lot. And this too. So what I do with this one is I actually mix this in with my CeraVe nighttime moisturizer. So I do a few drops of this. I do a couple pumps of the CeraVe nighttime moisturizer and I apply it all over my face, my neck, my chest, the back of my hands. And I do this pretty much every other night that I didn't use this heavy duty acid or that I didn't use my retinol. So I also use like a retinol or actually it's a prescription Retin-A and I use that right now. I'm only using it once a week. So I kind of plan things out as to when I'm using what. And another product that's newer that I just wanted to mention because it is by The Ordinary and it's a phenomenal product is the Buffet. And this is a peptide serum. It's awesome. It's to be used in the morning and at night. So I've been really, really liking using this. And it has really, really good reviews. Actually, all three of these products have really, really good reviews. So I just wanted to mention this one in case you were wondering about it. And again, all three of these products, super affordable, under 20 bucks, like you can't go wrong. Switching gears a little bit here, moving over to a fashion favorite of mine. This jacket I picked up off of Amazon. It is by the brand Engashin. I got a size medium. It kind of looks like a robe, but it is perfect for just like if you need to run out or whether you're like just running out to the store or taking your kids to school or just a little chilly and you need to run outside. It is perfect for that. It is so comfortable. They have a ton of different colors and it is very affordable. When I link everything down below, I will include pricing as well for stuff in case you're wondering. And I got the shade cream. It has pockets. It's just a perfect like cozy jacket. Even like sometimes if I'm at home and I'm just sitting on the couch and I'm cold, I'll pop it on. It's so comfortable. It, it's like a robe and a blanket and a jacket mixed in one, if that makes sense. So next up are a couple pairs of yoga pants that I have been loving. I also got these off of Amazon. They are by the brand Colorful Koala, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it, 
but I went with the size small. They're pretty true to size. And they're 75% polyester and 25% spandex, in case you're wondering. They are like butter soft, super stretchy, super comfortable. They suck you in, they hit up nice and high, so they're more of like a high-waisted. And I just think that they're very flattering, not to mention they have so many pretty colors and prints to choose from. They're very similar to like the Lululemon Align leggings and they're just like very stretchy and forgiving. So if you have like a couple pounds to lose, I would definitely just get like your regular size because I think that, you know, you'll be able to fit into them. Like for me right now, I have like 10 more pounds to go and I got this small and they fit just fine. So they're super stretchy and they were both under $30. And I've washed these a bunch. Now I do wash them cold water, delicate cycle, and I hang dry them. And I have had no like pilling or anything like that. They're in super great condition and I wear them quite a bit. I do have a black pair too, but they're actually dirty. But if you're looking for like a good affordable dupe to like Lululemon or Athletica, or just if you wanna try out something different, check out these ones from Amazon. Switching back over to Beauty. This is a lip liner. It is the Milani in the shade Most Natural. I have been using this nonstop. I had to mention it because I feel like I use it in almost every single makeup tutorial. And it is just a perfect like brown, beige, like your lip color. So it's really easy to like overline your lips and get like a really nice natural looking line. I use it even if I'm just popping on a little lip liner with some chapstick and just running out of the house. It's like your lips, but better. It gives them a little bit of color and it is perfect at overlining your lips and making it look like natural. And it just blends really, really nice. And it's creamy and it glides on super smooth. It's a retractable type of pencil. The only thing I don't like about this is that they only offer it in, I think like, two colors, but it does last quite a long time and it's super affordable. So if you're looking for a really good affordable lip liner to overline your lips with, definitely check out this one by Milani. Next up for a beauty related favorite is the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer. It is really, really good and the pan is very, very large. I forget, there used to be a drugstore brand that made a really nice big bronzer pan like I wanna say like 15 years ago and this totally reminds me of it. I can't think of it, but if I do end up thinking about it, obviously I'll put it up on the screen. But it definitely has like a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's like very natural and like glowy. So it is the bronzer that I have on today. This lighting's a little bit weird. I'm hoping like when I play it back, maybe, you know, it doesn't look as funky as it looks right now as I'm looking in my viewfinder but it is just a really pretty natural, like sheer, shiny, not shiny, but just like glowy looking bronzer. And it lasts for a long time. And the color is just like that perfect yummy glow. And it's really easy if you wanna take like your brush and do like a little contour. It's really nice at that too. Or if you wanna just kind of put it on a bigger powder brush and just kind of dust it all over your face, it's good for that as well. So it is actually, meant for the face and the body if you know if you wanted to dust it wherever you could do that as well it is about 15 bucks so it's definitely on the higher end for drugstore but if you're looking for a good drugstore bronzer check this one out it's really good i think that you'll definitely really like it next up is my favorite pink nude lip that i always go for if i have like a bolder look on my eyes like today this is way out of my comfort zone this is way more than what i normally do i actually did a tutorial on this look this is the elf jalapeno like the bite-sized jalapeno palette it's over on my instagram igtv if you did not see it and you want to check it out but anyway this is the lip color that i go to if i just want my lips to just kind of blend with everything, but it's also really pretty if you're doing like a simple eye and you want something pretty on your lips. And like the color and the texture, it has like a really nice satin velvety sheen. And the shade is called Bare. I think it is one of her best-selling lip kit colors. And I prefer the velvet and here's the lip liner. And then there's just a swatch of the lip liner as well. But I use this color nonstop. I use it so much. They actually just did a giveaway at the end of the year. If you spend like $75 or something at Ulta, you got a free lip kit in Bear. So I got myself a backup, which I am super happy about. 
but it is just the prettiest pinky nude color and it's just subtle. So it doesn't take away from anything else. So if you go with like a bold eye, you can pull this off. I just feel like it goes with everything and you always need a lip in your collection that's gonna go with everything. And for me, this is that lip. Okay, so next up is my favorite perfume of the year. I have a, quite a few favorites that I've been loving, but I think that this one is the one that's gotten the most love, especially during like the fall and the winter months. So this is Dolce & Cabana. This is the only one. I also have the travel size. I don't know how much comes in it, but it's like the long tube with the spritzer. And I think that that's like about 30 bucks. So that is perfect if you wanna just try this out. I can't stand the little minis that are like the dab ons or like the roll ons. I just feel like you do, it's not the same thing. Like I like the travel sizes that actually come with the spritzer. But anyway, this is the 3.3 fluid ounce size. So I would describe this as like a very warm, powdery sweetness scent with like mixed with like a caramel and just, just sweet. Um, but it's not, it's so hard to describe. It's not like too sweet. So it's definitely like very sophisticated. I definitely wear it during the daytime. I wear it at nighttime. I wear it whenever I want like a cozy, warm feeling, I guess. <laughs> but it's perfect for like the fall and the winter. It's very similar to the Black Opium perfume if you've tried that, but it's different. So it's like the same type of family, but it's different. Like this is definitely like more sweet and more yummy than that. So I'll read the fragrance description. Maybe that'll help give you like a better sense of how it's gonna smell. So it says that it is sophisticated and hypnotizingly feminine. So it says that the signature lies in the surprising combination of velvet and coffee giving life to an enchanting floral scent. I definitely don't smell, I guess maybe a little bit of a floral, but nothing like super floral. So it says that the violet note opens the fragrance combining with subtle touches of bergamot to create a lively, fresh and juicy bouquet. At the heart, seductive notes of rich coffee are blended with charming iris. Finally, the warm base of vanilla and patchouli lends a tactile comforting quality enveloping the senses in an opulent embrace. So I definitely smell more of like the sweetness of it. It's definitely very different. If you do not like sweet, warm scents, you probably won't like this, but I mean, I that's right up my alley, so I absolutely love this. Again, I would recommend just getting a sample if you can. I know it's hard to like go and smell things right now, but if you do like like those types of like really sweet and warm and comforting scents, I would definitely just go ahead and buy the sample size and try it out. I think that you'll really like it if you're looking for that type of scent. So I have two more on the list to go through. Next up, moving into like the laundry department. <laughs> But fragrance, this is the Method Fragrance Booster. And this stuff, I always have on hand. It smells ridiculously good. If you're in Target or wherever, just grab it and give it, you just squeeze it and the scent comes out the top. And like, you might be thrown off because it's like a ginger mango, which people would be like, oh, that's kind of like weird or different. But it smells so good when your clothes come out. I don't even know how to describe it other than it lasts forever. Like I literally wash my sheets and like a week later when I'm ready to wash them again, I can still smell this on my sheets. And I only do about a cap full when I wash my clothes with it. So I just put it in there, fill it up, pop it in, and it just lasts forever. They have a couple other scents. There's like a beach one and then there's like a floral one. But if you're looking to try out one of the three, Try this one out. I think this one is by far the best. Right now I have the beach one um, in like my jar, my canister jar, and I have a little bit left to go through, but then I'm gonna be filling my jar up with this scent. It is seriously amazing. Another thing that I love using this for is like blankets and towels. So if you have like blankets that you just, you know, lay on your couch or wherever all over the house and you have company that comes over, I've literally had people say to me like, what is that? And I'm like, what? And thinking that it's like someone's perfume or a candle or something. And it was, it was the blanket that just smells that good. If you've had your eyes on these, these are really good. And this scent I think is the best out of the three. All right, last up is this electric tea kettle. So I used to have just a regular tea kettle. 
put it on the stove, boil the water. It took forever. It was just, honestly, it was annoying me. I went on Amazon and I looked for some electric tea kettles. I wanted a white one to match and I got this one. It's Kasori, I think you pronounce it. I'm not really sure, but it's awesome. It literally heats the water up in 20 seconds. The water's boiling and it keeps it hot for a while. Super easy to use. You just hit this little button, you fill it up, you shut it, plug it in. This goes on here and then you hit this little button right there, turns it on. It boils the water so fast and when you're done, put it under the counter and it's perfect. I think that they have like black, they might have like other sizes. The max on this is seven cups, so it is a good size. So if you're a tea drinker, hot chocolate, whatever, I definitely think that the electric tea kettle is where it's at. It's just quick, it looks sleek, it looks good. Um, I'm obsessed with it, love it. So that's everything that I have to share for this year's favorites. I had to condense my list because I felt like there was a lot. I also wanted to share things that maybe I hadn't mentioned in my other favorites videos for the year. Some of these obviously I've mentioned in other favorites and you've heard me already talk about them, but I hope that you found this video fun. Maybe you discovered something new. I don't know. I hope this video was helpful. If you're new here, please subscribe, comment down below, introduce yourself, say hello and everything will be linked down below. And I'll also link like some of my playlists if you wanna check out some other stuff. I do all different types of videos, beauty, organization, home, lifestyle, fashion, a little bit of everything. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye guys.